I am Dr. S. Prakash, a surgeon and managing director of Star Health Insurance. We are sharing an advisory video which we have prepared exclusively for you, which can address most of your concerns and questions as you successfully recover from your coronary artery bypass surgery. Dear customer, please note that your treating doctor is the ultimate authority and you will have to follow his advices. When can I resume walking? Is it safe to climb stairs? Your treating doctor would have already advised you to start walking. It is better you get out of the bed, sit in the armchair next to your bed and keep walking within the room. Once you are comfortable, you can have a slow walk in the corridor. You can try even climbing staircase as you are in the hospital. And even after your discharge, it is always better we walk regularly. Every one hour, you can get up from your bed and have a small walk. As much as we start walking early, we can have a much faster recovery. What kind of a diet should I follow after a bypass surgery? Your dietitian would have given you the dietary advice. So listen to your treating doctor and also the specific advice given by the diabetes specialist. In general, one should avoid deep fried items and junk food. You should also avoid taking heavy meal. Overall, a homemade food, particularly a food which is rich in fruits and vegetables are more advisable. Can I have a shower after a bypass surgery? There is usually a fear that water should not touch the operative site. You may have an incision in the leg, in the hand and in your chest. And please do not have the fear that you should not take a shower. You should have a bath as you are in the hospital and even after discharge, we advise that every day you have bath with warm water that will keep you fresh and at the same time that will clean the dirt in your skin and that can prevent infection in the surgical site to a very large extent. Will I need to take medicines for the rest of my life? You should follow the advice of your treating doctor. All the medications prescribed by the doctor have to be taken regularly. Every time you meet the doctor, check the prescription. When you travel outside also, you should continue taking these tablets, particularly the tablet that you are taking to reduce cholesterol and the blood thinner are very, very important and it should be continued for life. What extra precautions do I have to take specifically for my wounds after a bypass surgery? Please have your regular bath. Apply moisturizer to the legs and hands within 5 minutes after taking bath. Do not scratch the operative site. Avoid scratching the operative site. And most important, they would have taken a vein from your leg as a graft to bypass the blocked vessel in your heart. So, these legs have to be kept under elastic creep bandage. You should keep the leg elevated always, do not keep the legs hang down, keep the legs under elevation and apply the creep bandage wherever they have taken a graft, maybe in the hand or in the leg. Please apply creep bandage and also use a chest binder and these things you can continue for 2 to 6 weeks as advised by your doctor. All these things are going to help you to have a very fast recovery. When and how can I return back to normal life, including socializing and partying? See, you should follow the advice of your treating doctor. As you go for follow-up, they would have done some investigation. Please follow the advice closely. If you are doing an office job, you can resume your office activities after a month of bypass surgery. But if your job requires strenuous muscular activity, it is better you join after three months. And also while driving also like you should avoid driving for at least three months because that may cause extra pain on the operative site in the chest. And you may be very anxious to see your no dear grandsons or granddaughters you have, you may like to lift them. But you should avoid lifting any weight more than 3 kgs for the first three months. With regard to socializing, you can go to parties, you can be very selective on your diet. But I would prefer you avoid smoking and alcohol. All the more 100% you should keep away from smoking. 
generally they say that after two to three months of bypass surgery, you can have sex if your doctor advises the same. What are the alarming signs to watch out for post-discharge? Generally, you should be fine. But some of the alarming signs that you should be aware of, if there is a severe chest pain after you go home or if there is a difficulty in breathing and that is also increasing and if there is a bloody discharge from the operative site or if unfortunately there is a fever and vomiting. Sometimes there can be unusual giddiness. So, when you experience any of these symptoms, it is better you reach the treating doctor and follow his advice. How can I prevent another heart attack after a bypass surgery? See, usually a bypass surgery works for 15 years plus. But if you follow adequate lifestyle precautions, like walking regularly every day for 45 minutes, having a healthy, clean diet, avoid smoking, and most important of all, continue the medications given by your doctor. Stress is a very important factor which predisposes to heart attack. So, I think we should avoid stress. We should make ourselves emotionally happy and we can adapt, follow some yoga or meditation to make ourselves stress free. This is, this is very important. Most important of all, please note that you are no more a heart patient. Just because you had one cardiac surgery, it does not mean that you are a heart patient for life. After a cardiac surgery, you are almost back to normal. You can have a very happy, healthy living. As our beloved customer from Star Health Insurance, we always wish and pray that you should continue to have a very happy, healthy living. God bless.